What is going on you guys, h one Mayo here, and in today's video, after a lot of questions of when I'm bringing you guys the attachment guide, it is finally here. This video took me a long time to make, a lot of very long hours, so if it does help you out in any way, consider leaving a like, it does help out with the YouTube algorithm. Also, consider subscribing. Now a quick little disclaimer, all rifles were tested 15 meters away from a wall, all secondary SMGs were tested 10 meters away, I shot 3 mags per gun per attachment, all pistols and DMR should always use muzzle brake, and I also want to say that these are all in my opinion. So some things might be a little different to you, they might feel a little different, you might like different attachments on different guns. This is all in my opinion, if you want to use them, that's great. The main reason I make this video is because I get a lot of questions about my attachment guide. So with all of that being said, let's jump into the video. So with the attackers, the L85, I do believe that muzzle brake is the best attachment in my opinion. I found that flash hider had too much first shot jump and comp had too much first shot jump as well, but it was easier to control with compensator as the recoil got harder. For the AR-33, flash hider. Comp was much harder for some reason and much more resistant to the spray. And muzzle brake was far too sporadic. The R4C, from my testing, and in my opinion, I think that flash hider or muzzle brake is going to be the best option. Flash was really good for overall recoil. Comp was too unpredictable. Muzzle brake was really good for the first shot jump recoil, but overall much harder to control as you sprayed more. For the G3060, flash hider. This gun doesn't really have that much recoil, so I leave it up to you, but I'm gonna run flash hider. For the 556XI on Thermite, muzzle brake. Flash offered really, really good vertical control, and comp had too much unpredictable recoil. For the F2 on Twitch, muzzle brake. Flash was too all over the place, and comp had too much one-shot recoil. For the AK-12, in my opinion, I do believe that compensator is the best. For the AUG A2, flash hider. Comp pulled too much to one side, and the one-shot recoil was very, very strong. For the Commando, flash hider. Comp had too much vertical recoil, and muzzle had too much sway. For the G8, flash hider, the gun is pretty much a laser beam. For the C8, flash hider. Comp didn't offer anything and it had a lot of one shot recoil. Muzzle had too much side to side sway. For the MK14 flash hider. With muzzle brake on this gun, I was pretty much shooting circles. For the Para 308, muzzle brake. For the M249, compensator. For the Type 89, muzzle brake. Flash had too much one shot jump, same with compensator. For the C7E, compensator. Flash had too much sway in the recoil and muzzle brake was too inconsistent. This gun is an absolute laser with compensator. For the PDW, flash hider. Comp was odd and muzzle brake was too wobbly. For the T95, flash hider. Comp was too jumpy on the vertical with the one shot and muzzle brake had too much sway. For the M762 and Zofia, muzzle brake. Comp is a very close second in my opinion, but the one shot recoil was definitely a deal breaker for me. For the LMGE, flash hider. Comp had too much vertical recoil overall and muzzle brake was all over the place. For the V308, muzzle brake or flash hider. Comp had too much unpredictable vertical recoil. Muzzle's grouping was a lot easier, and flash's vertical control was the easiest, but the grouping was harder. Personally using muzzle. For the Spear 308, this is a big one since the new operator Thunderbird has it. Compensator. Muzzle had too much side to side, and vertical had too much as well. For the M4 and Mav, muzzle brake. Comp had too much vertical kick, and flash was too hard to group. For the AK-74 on Nomad. Muzzle brake. Comp is a runner up, but has too much vertical kick. But the grouping was really good. Flash just isn't good at all, in my opinion. For the ARX 200. Flash. Comp was too all over the place, and muzzle was hard to group. Flash was actually really nice. For the F90 on Gridlock. Muzzle brake. Comp was also really nice and effortless, but I do think that muzzle brake was better. For the M249 saw on Gridlock. Flash hider. Not sure how or why it's a different attachment from the regular M249. From what I felt, in my opinion, I do think that the flash hider is better on the saw. For the FMG9, muzzle brake. It's a tough call in my opinion. I suggest for you to test it yourself. For the SC3000K on zero, compensator. Muzzle brake was far too jumpy and flash had too much sway. For the MP7, muzzle brake. With flash, the grouping was way too hard to control and with comp, it was very, very jumpy. For the MP5K on mute, flash or muzzle brake. Comp was also really nice in the MP5, since the gun doesn't really have that much recoil. Personally running muzzle brake. For the UMP, comp or flash hider. Muzzle was too wobbly. For the MP5, muzzle brake. Flash had really good vertical control, but the side to side recoil was more intense than the muzzle brake. For the P90, flash hider. Muzzle brake was way too wide on the spray. 
for the 9x19 VSN on Capcan and Tachanka. Comp was too unpredictable, and Muzzle had too much side to side recoil. For the 416C on Jaeger, this is another big one. Flash and Compensator had too much one shot recoil, which could lead to missing a shot. Muzzle was much smoother. For the 9mm C1 on Frost, no barrel. For the MPX, Muzzle Break. Comp had odd recoil, Flash had too much side to side recoil. For the M12 on Cav, Muzzle Break. Flash is just trash compared to Muzzle Break on this gun. For the Vector, Muzzle Break. Comp was a close second, but I'm personally running Muzzle Break. For the T5 on Vigil, this was a surprise to me. Compensator. If you can control the vertical recoil on the T5, which isn't hard, it's an absolute laser beam with Compensator. For the Scorpion, Muzzle Break. Flash was way too hard to control, and Comp was very similar. For the K1A on Vigil, Flash Hider. It was much smoother than anything else. For the Alda on Maestro, Muzzle Break. Comp was really good as well, but it had too much vertical kick. For the MX4 Storm, Muzzle Break. Everything else wasn't all that great, Muzzle was very consistent. For the AUG A3 on Kate, Compensator. Very consistent and very noise. For the Commando on Mozzie, Muzzle Break. Flash and Comp had too much one-shot recoil. For the P10 Roni, Compensator. Muzzle and Flash weren't all that hot compared to Comp. For the SMGs, for the SMG11, Compensator. It was super smooth, and I liked it a lot compared to Flash Hider. For the Bearing 9, Compensator as well. Flash Hider had way too much vertical recoil pulling to one side, and it was very difficult to control at times. And lastly, for the SPS MG9 Secondary Auto Pistol. Flash Hider, because you can only attach Compensator as the other attachment. That is my complete, and in my opinion, best attachment for this season of North Star. If you guys enjoyed it, or it helped you out in any way, please consider leaving a like on the video. I would greatly appreciate it. This took a lot, a lot of time to make. So seriously, guys, any support is greatly appreciated and can go a long way. Also, leaving a like can do a great deal as well. But that's everything I have for you guys today. There's links to all my social media down below, as well as my coaching service. So if you guys are interested in that, as well as a link to the Wichita Wolves, which I am a content creator for. So make sure you guys go show them some love as well. We just got a CL team. So if you guys want to come support them, there's going to be a match today as this video is going live. I believe at around 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can find it live on Twitch. Go check the Twitters, all that good stuff. But with all of that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. And I'll see you guys in the next video. What is that out there? Is that a fucking bird? Your drone has found a bomb. Oh, it's a helicopter. helicopter. Bro, you're not real. <laughs> I thought it was a big ass bird. Now, what you mean, that's Superman, bro? Come on, that's Superman. You, you, you guys got it. Yeah. Is that a? N now that's a helicopter. Five oh yeah, um, Bandit's probably tricking, so I don't know what you're gonna do to get rid of him. gonna try C. You had to make a That'll choice. That'll be my final if answer. You have given your final answer. Now is the time to see the right one. You really know your answer. I'm so smart.